listen to me, you motherfuckers. You're listening to the best podcast that's ever come out. And there's never been a better podcast than this, my friend. And I'll tell you why. Because Van Styles is right here. And Chris Tash is next to him. Just listen. Okay? You listen. Take it easy. You're going to love it. This is the clapboard. Clapboard take number one. Listen to me, your motherfucker. We're going to do this the way that you're going to do it. Not me. Okay? You set the pace. I want you to look deep inside your soul, man. How deep can you go? That's not deep enough. Keep going. <laughs> and then you'll reach the Big Dookie Chain Podcast. Tony DeMarco, 2023, Big Dookie Chain. You don't know what it is. And we're going to find out what it is. Chris, take it away. Like, subscribe, and Mike Tyson that bell. Oh, Chris. And we're... We're good to go. Are we recording? Well. Oh, fancy. We are recording. So, so Vin, who the, who the fuck are you? <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna wear this to so that everyone understands that I'm sick, <sighs> and that's why I sound a little funny. Yeah, I know. Yeah, most <laughs> people just wear a mask. You know what though? <laughs> well, most the... most people aren't getting Corona for the third time right now. How many times have you? How what number twice. is this gonna be for you guys? You got it twice. Yes, I've had so it done once. Yeah. You, Chris? Three times. Ooh. All right, this is my uh, third time. Who knows what it Actually, is. Actually, I got it twice. I got it once kind of like easy. Oh, oh I shot myself in the eye. Jesus, bro, you got shit coming Jeez. out of your face. Oh, fuck. It's a fuck. good thing you what have is, a toilet paper. Stock. What is going on right now? You didn't tell me that thing. Uh, what do you, I, t- I did tell you that. I shot I, myself in the eye. I told you it was going to do that. That's what you call dedication. Woo! Dedication so, to so the job. I would, I, dude, sick hold as on, a, hold sick on, as a hold dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the big dookie chain. We're fucking podcasting right now. Okay, let's this be is, professional. This, this is, this no, is Van no Styles. professionalism. I'm Tash. And this guy you're looking at right now, who, who the fuck is that guy? I was just about to say, I got up, I didn't even go to work today, I'm so sick. Sick as a dog, I got corona for the third time, but I hear yeah. Tony DeMarco's coming out and I say, no, no, God, please don't. And it just pulls me, pulls me towards the car with the broken air conditioning, pulls me into the driver's seat, and next thing you know, I'm on that hour drive over here to the studio for this man. Well, it's, it's not I hour. mean, this man called me. It's at least an hour. I ran to the drawer, pulled out the scissors, and cut off my anklet, and oh, I your ran here. bracelet? I've been running, I ran the whole way. <laughs> he's not, yeah. And he's not even sweaty. So. How the fuck did. Uh, that's because he's. Because he's sweaty. Italian? No, he's, he's wearing black. No, it doesn't show sweat. the sweat. Like, <laughs> it's I think it's because no, he's Italian. I, I want to see Brandon's spot, though, because ever since my spot got closed down, I. If people ask me to throw a party, and I'm like, sorry, you can't, man. I don't do that there anymore. Nobody knows what you're talking about right now. <laughs> but you see the, the, sh- the shirt the shirt that you're wearing. I want to discuss this for a second. Black shirt. What do, you th- what do you think is more offensive? A wife beater or a wind breaker? Because <laughs> one breaks the wind. One just beats it, beats a wife a little. Yeah, you know, I've always asked myself this question, you know, and oftentimes I fall asleep just pondering. <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> at, at the end of the day, I just got to give it to dogs. You know, the realest motherfuckers. They just wear nothing. They're like, this is me. I just show up like this. What? That's not true. Dogs in Cambridge wear coats and shit I comb my fucking hair. I didn't put on fucking clothes. You bro. got armpit vents. I forgot to put on deodorant on the way out, I'll tell you. Yeah. I, that I, hit me I, part I, way honestly, through the car Honestly, I slept in the shirt. I was late, and that's... Uh, I, I feel Tony DeMarco is always in fucking, like, wife. They're not even white. Those aren't wife beaters. That's a tank top. And it, what's the difference? A wife well, be- the difference is when you say wife beater, it sounds <laughs> little really bad. W- and, oh, oh, school, yeah. Wife beater is a tighter. But that's how we get the hashtag me too. And get a whole movement following that's this That's true. It's good for mar- marketing. And we check. Yeah, they said it's all right. They yeah, said it's they, all right. Yeah, yeah we got to go right. ahead. So we're, we're going to do yeah. that. Wait, wait. Um, but what is the difference really quick? I mean, a tank top is like has a color to it. It's a little looser. Like the white feet, it's got the ridges in them. They're like, you know, like you kind of buy them well, in like the bulk packs, you know. I mean, one is well, so they're always white. Misogyn- you know, one is a misogynist. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. think it's just the, the term. It's I don't like. I don't like, the I don't like that term, misogynist. Yeah, I'm I mean, offended by yeah. that. Do you term. like the term white feeder? I like that term. Like that one a lot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna write that one down. Marketing. 
Yeah. I, it's, Tony's like, what the fuck did I get myself into? It's like three minutes into this fucking thing. And you're you like, said that you wanted the show so to have a little bit of structure. Well, I lied. No, I said if there's no, one, let you, me know. Tony. Yeah, I said, I said, give me the. Uh, he thought he was getting your, interviewed. Your structure, and I'm down for whatever. Right. Yeah. So as you can see, thus far, there isn't one. I love that. So I want to tell you guys. But that's just to bring it back. Why I like white people. Uh, uh, bring it back to the to the focus, right? But the the show he po- actually you came came over my spot and I was DJing. You took yep. a photo and it got brought up in a court case, and I was like, oh, are shit. you serious? Someone was like, because because you wrote and, and Tony DeMarco. <laughs> Uh, this guy's warehouse. So people are trying to say like I owned a warehouse. I'm like, dude, you can search the deeds. I don't own the warehouse. It's really get that fucking. Oh, hold on, it's my art space. Yeah, yeah, I need to know more so, about and this. It, and, I, and my lawyer yeah. looks over and I look at it. And it's a picture of me and Chris. And he's all. <laughs> he's all. I'm smoking a joint. Yeah. yeah. The foreground. Like, yeah, I, I, we joint. can pull the we can pull the yeah. picture up. It's me smoking <laughs> a joint with him DJing like, and it's just like it's a DJ room. And it wasn't. I, it I wasn't, love you, man. Because you'll post shit like that. You'll be like in a fireworks factory. You'll be like, great place to smoke a joint, is any, you know? Yeah, it, fuck, like, you know no, it's not the worst place to smoke a joint. Nursery. Hey, okay, well, might as well burn. <laughs> it's, 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 all it's not the worst place to not smoke a joint. Not the worst place to smoke a joint. <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's all marketing. You know what I mean? It's all that same shit. You know how we repetitively say the same thing over and over again. Next thing you know, you have a wall of shit that you have the copyrights to. That kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Tony DeMarco's a guy who knows about shit like that. I this, mean, this so guy, is Van Styles. Ah, this guy's a hustler. A little bit. He, he, he's a Jedi, too, is what I should But you're the hustler. But you are the hustler. He is the hustler. Yeah, and yeah. and I was just thinking about it right yeah. now. When it comes to, like, hip-hop culture, you're a jack of all trades. Break yes. dancing. Yes. Oh, wow. Ra- rapping, graffiti. You do, yeah. And uh, I had the, I had a fourth one there, actually. What's the it, fourth? It's, it's DJing, graffiti, uh, b-boy, and then hip-hop lyrics. It's just the four. Yeah, and beatboxing is the fifth, but you know why can't there be untold elements? You know, so there's got to be some more shit out there. Do you remember where we first met? Yeah, Middle East, Middle East upstairs, right? Shit, I was I was drunk, I was hammered out of my Me mind too, every guessing. time I was at the Middle East. I'm thinking it was there. I, this is actually a real question but, that okay. I want to know the answer to. Well, first of all, back in the day, you were involved with UndergroundHipHop.com, yep. and at the time, I had a crew together called Omen. Uh, original mentality oh like original man and i was doing shows at tufts university despite like not being a student there or anything i totally like <laughs> van wilded my way through the fucking camp like they'd know they think I, exactly. yeah so, so i'm having these parties right places are getting jammed out there's a line out of every door I'm like, this is a fire hazard you know got entertainment on on all these uh different uh levels and uh you know through through throwing parties Somebody came and they wrote in the whiteboard, undergroundhiphop.com is better than oh man, blah, 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 blah. And it was like this weird internet beep that someone brought to like a dry erase board. At one of your parties? At the fraternity. House. Well, how, the fraternity what year house? is this okay. though? 2000. So it's like... 2001 maybe. The internet is still like in its infancy. Or you don't even have... Yeah, this was a little I, bit later than 2001. My, yeah, maybe be, maybe 03? Yeah, maybe yeah. more like... Well, even yeah, 0103. Yeah. The, the, there's no Facebook yet. Social media hasn't taken but, off yet. You know, so you dry know, erase, whatever it was, it was 20 years ago. But I'm I, saying dry erase boards it. were kind of like the social media. Yeah, it was the first shit post. You know what I mean? Yeah, you had to like... Or the college campus, like the fucking... The board with all the flyers and shit on it. That's like kind of what you had to... Go by well, that was at uh, underground anyway, hip hop, and that's how I found out about undergroundhiphop.com. And I was like, This is flattering for someone to compare me to something I love, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there <laughs> you go. And we had, but we did have some great parties there. Jessica Beale went there, and I remember we were having a party, and she was just just casually always walking across campus. And my friends were like, You should say hi, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> but I did it anyway And I took a photo with her You know And she looked happy But This <laughs> close to being like Work with me You know uh, and the, do, 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 you, you, didn't, you didn't try your shit on Jessica Biel? You, no man, You know I was a little nervous Because she's Super dope Yeah but yeah. I've always been Really attracted to her And not <laughs> Yeah, yeah did you, yeah, did you like, te- That yeah. wasn't your opener I've always been re- Like and, I know you're famous so, But I've always been Extremely I, attracted I really to wasn't you. aware How famous she was Or could potentially be it didn't even matter to me, but it's she's she's a stunning fucking person. So yeah, you just like uh, so I was like you know twenty three or something, you know like fuck did I know you know? Didn't she go I, out with Justin Timberlake? Yeah, or marry him? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. They're, I I hope they're happy. You know that's and cool, Justin. Right? Justin's very yeah. uh, handsome himself. 
<laughs> they were freaking awesome. So that's how I learned about undergroundhiphop.com. And I was like, yo, this is fucking cool. You guys had it going on. The store. I went there once. Oh, and so I regret not going there a lot more because there were a lot of in-stores. Like, always an in-store. New artists. Like, Wednesday night, I'm watching a 23-year-old kid from Brooklyn perform at Deep Cuts, the new venue yeah. down there. And I'm thinking, like, you know, I like to hear what the new shit, you know? And you don't really hear the new shit unless you go out, you know? You don't really... You don't experience the rose if you don't go in the garden. You know what I'm saying? So, like, back then, you guys you don't were doing experience that. the rose unless you go in the garden. Yeah. Sh- well, what he's kind of saying too is that, like, Ooh. the new, like, the new shit was that back then, like what we call the old shit. You now. were on the cutting edge. Yeah, it's like yeah. that's the that was the new. And I was shit just then. in the street hustling somebody to use their place for a party. You know. All right. You've been, uh, doing, you've been doing that shit for a long, long fucking well, time, you know, man. My, the, truth be told, my boy was like a fraternity brother there. He passed away. He's just Stu Rocker, real cool. And uh, they're all like, yeah, we're, we're cool with you. So what floor is the DJ going to be on? I'm like, so two DJs. Yeah. DJ in the basement. Okay. DJ on the top floor. Like, all right. And then what's in the middle? The band. I'm like, okay. So they just said okay to everything. I did it all. <laughs> now, you were a party promoter before social media. Oh yeah. So yeah. T- so you know that a lot of the people watching this, or maybe the younger generation, isn't even going to know how that's possible. So what did you do? Like what goes into you know promoting a show Fucking before there's alchemy. Instagram and you already Facebook. know you. I know, you've but you've done some shows. I've done some shows, and it's nothing short of a miracle when the shit gets pulled off right because right. of the amount of stuff that can go wrong. You know, with trying to like, you know, put together all the components of a successful event. It's but you're out there complicated. Put, you're putting you're handing out physical flyers. I remember you've telling either... people about MySpace. Yeah, you're but like, you have hey, you ever heard of MySpace? The you're in the street was, though. You're physically in the street. Yeah. So pre shaking people's hands, handing people pieces of paper in the actual street. <laughs> Which is what what, what you, you do is do yeah. you, have, you have to ultimately print flyers. You print flyers, now you get to distribute flyers. So you buy flyers they come in packs of 5,000. So you buy one or two, or many you want it. Well, you got to draw them in MS DOS first. Well, first you got to design it, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. And it's double sided. So you got to take that into my, you know, make sure you got your concepts, whatever. Boom, execute it. And I mean, you'd be putting them under windshield wipers. You'd pay people to spider out, wait outside the club. And we all remember people doing it. See, right? nowadays, when you see a piece of paper on your front windshield as you're walking back to your car, you start getting that anger. Like you know it's a parking ticket, yeah, you're but still, back then it, could it, be a Tony DeMarco upcoming party fight. But it was well, still like I anger, remember though. one time we printed <laughs> yeah, still anger. Like goddamn. One time can. we printed violation, like on oh, one side, you're a same thing, and on the other side, yeah, it's just a party, you know. And they'd be like, "Duh, mm, you know," because <laughs> no matter how you get the flyer, the only appropriate response is, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. who gives that? No one's holding on to that shit. No one's like, well, "Let me and, fold and this he, up and put it in my." And okay. each of those like cost journal. money, though. They like, did. you had to they pay did. to print. Oh, well, yeah, you, that's You're paying for the impression, you know? Well, yeah, no, so but, it's, but, you know. yeah, but you don't even have to, like, now you can just throw that shit up on the fucking internet and it does its own thing. Like, you had to actually fuck it. I remember doing, I remember Chucking cutting. it out on the internet is a far better flex. <laughs> but you had to invest something. Yeah. Nowadays, people don't have to invest anything but a little bit of their time to put up a Back Facebook digital flyer. Back then, you had to pay um, to get into somebody's wallet now you just pay to get into their phone you so it's I mean? like so one you got to be like this and the other one you don't so people can get an idea too as well like how many people are at these parties because like you throw some fucking parties i can't even my brain is this 100 200 exploding what, what's your, what's your, which one of your biggest like because these are all right did the dmc dj uh competition for new england on 2005 at uh, this place, they used to call the Big Easy in the alley mm-hmm. on the side. And it was dope because they had like a top floor level. So I integrated the first ever B-Boy battle with the DJ battle. So one preceded the other. And everybody loved it. And at the time, like 94.5 was big. And like, you know, the, like Roy Barboza was one of the judges. And he was talking about it on the radio. The I worked with some sponsors and created like this vip experience like oh free drinks show up at nine everybody showed up top floor was like capacity before the event even started and the um the b-boy shit was epic you know plus you've got a great visual on a whole you know yeah 
creating a whole other layer of access to the entertainment, which I think is important, right? And um, so that went off dope. And then they gave me a free mixer, you know? They were just like, like on GP, like, yo, you know, good job doing the event. Well, no, what I'm, what I'm trying to get at, though, is because when you so say, like, probably... throw parties, people will kind of just think, I'm like, oh, a party. Like, no, no, no. Like, you, you threw, like, fucking, like, yeah. parties, like, well, events. Like, parties, too, you know? Like, Van Wilder's type parties. You saying Van Wilder yeah. earlier, like, I mean, I've been at some of your parties where there was definitely a couple hundred people there. Yeah, they go all the way back to <laughs> throwing parties at Tufts when I didn't go there in the early earlier 2000s as like practice you know i guess whatever you want to call it back then you'd be like burning shit off napster and making it burning a cd and like bumping it in the car and bringing it to the set you know that's what you fucking nowadays they have the um the cards when you walk up like used to hand out cds they got yeah. like when you walked on the beach and shit now the people will hand you like they'll have like a card like a dot card and yeah. like let me tap your fucking phone you're like yeah that's not gonna fucking happen like you, know, like, you let this motherfucker tap your fucking phone Exactly. That's what yeah. they do. They instead of like no. mixtapes. No, you've yeah, probably the, seen it. Yeah. yeah. Those, Fuck that. A data yeah. skimmer. Yeah. No, I got you your... can have it in your pocket and just get up in some proximity to you and lift all the data off oh, your yeah. cards. Yeah, I so, know. But, but what you're saying, to your point, is there's physical cards that are like your business card, but you tap and all your, inform your yeah. digital information is transferred to their phone. But of course, at the same time, you could be lifting everything off their phone. Yeah. So like, so people yeah, instead yeah, of mixtapes yeah. now, you'll have like your mixtape download. It's like an actual credit card looking thing, yeah. and like they'll say, "Do you want my mixtape?" And they'll say, "Can I tap your phone?" Actually, I haven't yeah, seen that though. Yeah. They, they actually. They, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen, I've seen it. I've seen it in California. I've seen it in Texas. I've seen it in Boston. I've seen it around. Yeah, oh, yeah you're right. People doing it. He's and right. and I ever said yeah. every time I laughed, I'm like, "Yeah, like fuck, like you're gonna yeah. let you tap my fucking phone." Like, yeah, they had that's one called crazy. like. That's, that's the kind of shit that. But it's, it's I mean, you just took off your tinfoil hat. So yeah, it's smart. I'm not gonna let somebody tap it. It is. Phone. It uses NFC, which is an acronym for Near Field Communication. It just like goes like some of them use Bluetooth. Absolutely, but yeah. if I pulled up my my shit and was like, "Hey Tony, here's my new album," you'd be like, "Yeah, dude, tap my shit." Some dude standing outside the fucking subway. He's like, "Hey, bro, want to get my new album? I'll tap your phone." You're like, "I don't think that's gonna fucking happen," because now yeah, he's taking I mean, off. The the thing is, man, if somebody wants to hack you, they're gonna hack you. I don't. I, I wouldn't give him the fucking opportunity to, to do that. That's just, yeah. I guess, me. Just don't well, they're, they're have not gonna a document called miscellaneous with pa username password. Username password. Don't have don't, that document don't. like I did and got my yeah. entire two terabytes of iCloud stolen. I'm not gonna go out. And, I'm not gonna go on this rant. But maybe <laughs> maybe you've seen it on Facebook already. But yeah. yeah, you can get your shit taken real quick. I mean, we're talking right. about. Do you do you want to say like how that like that 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 crazy scam? Because that like that's that scam is like a fucking. Like, Actually, a, you know what? We are gonna have to take a break from Tony just to just to make people aware. This no, is like no, a public please. service it, it, announcement. I mean, I get it. I, I can't. It. I first of all, the night was going great. I went to the Little Wayne show. I was walking up and down the line, even though I'm hip hop fucking royalty. Somehow, <laughs> some way, no one was able to get me into the little Wayne, the sold out Little Wayne show for free. So what do I do? I'm, I I humble myself. Dress this is like Marcus. Security. This is like Marcus Aurelius dressing in rags and coming out amongst the village people, leaving this <laughs> palace to remind himself of what it's like to humble himself. And that's where you get a lot of the stoic <laughs> philosophy. I did similarly. I went amongst the people. I went to the Little Wayne show. I'm asking. People had paid 250 300 350 to get a ticket to this fucking Little Wayne show at House of Blues. It's ridiculous. And how old was the guy that got you in? Yeah, man. He was not young. This guy was like 55 or something, but he was oh, like... man, you've been all over the fucking world. You've done crazy shit. What's the, you, who's you, the single oh, craziest oh, person you've ever met? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, 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 trust I me. I haven't trust met me. Trust me. me. Trust, me. Trust, me. trust me. You want, I'm the you craziest want to person I've ever yourself. met. I'm the one. Who are you going to dance with? Uh, no, actually, it would be, it would honestly be Chris when he was drinking. <laughs> that, that's, he is, I actually thought, like, when I first met Chris, I was like, who the fuck is this raging lunatic? And, and that, that was like 20 years ago, but he has a never-ending <laughs> supply of energy. I don't understand yeah, where I it know. comes from because he smokes. I'm, I'm, I was thinking about this the other day. I'm like, <laughs> if during a one-hour podcast you smoke three joints, <laughs> and you probably only sleep like three hours a day because you answer the phone <laughs> at any time of night. You basically stayed up. up for like 108 hours straight in Miami, walked home to Massachusetts or <laughs> something. I believe Broke that. Down car, what, there was a lot of how many difficulty. How many joints do you smoke a day? An honest question. And I want like the real answer. 
anywhere from low end like five to high end like twenty, twenty five. Have you ever smoked marijuana in an explosive factory? No. <laughs> or production facility? No. What about one that handles nuts and fruit? Yes. So if you're allergic and you no have more allergies. Questions. <laughs> no more questions. Anyway. It's like when you're on the plane. Let's, so just, got, yeah. let's just talk about that real quick. Let's just talk about this. Come on. 25 joints a day. Sometimes, yeah, man. And that's not an exaggeration if we're looking at three joints That is hour. a lot. That's, that's a lot of weed. Yeah. A lot of weed. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's... And you're like, and you, as a I, lot of people know, you're sober. Yeah. Well, yeah, sober. He's sober, but... I don't but, drink or smoke right. any cigarettes or anything like that. I don't drink right. any fucking crazy drugs or anything like that. But I smoke plenty of marijuana. But 25 joints a day. Yeah, same. Yes. That's you know insane. what I mean? How, Kelly, many, how much weed do you smoke a day, Not that much. No, very, a very little bit, you know, um, sporadically, you know. Not 25 joints? Nah. Like, I'll buy, like, an eighth and have it for, like, four, five, six months, you know. Like oh, you yeah. find shit and be we, like, oh, we smoked. We already rolled an eighth just here. That's what I ground yeah. up when we were when we were rolling those joints out there. That was like an eighth that I ground up. Yeah, yeah, that was. No, that's what it was. I, amount, I took yeah. an eighth out and I ground yeah. an eighth up. What? But and everybody smokes, amount. you know, their their own amount. Ha, ha, well, speaking of that, have either of you ever met anyone, not including yourself, that smokes twenty five or more joints in a day? A few people, yes. Who? Um, in the, cause when I'm in the, like the cannabis industry shit, there are some guys out there that fucking that, that smoke weed. But like mostly when I do that show, I do that podcast. By the time those people leave, they're like way fucking hot. Like they, they're the like last cameras, guest, they're catatonic. the last guy, he was, um, he's a uh, council uh, selectman from New Hampshire, Maine. And he, uh, he brought, he's also, um, he has a fucking, um, what the fuck's it called? Not a dispensary, but whatever the fuck it is. He grows weed and, and he can legally sell it. Um, and he brought like these fucking joints with like all Chris. What were the fuck were in those things? Um, Which ones? Keep. The, 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 no, it was Keith, but it was also oh, like Rousin, Shatter, and they, they were just Rousey, like yeah. super yeah. strong yeah. joints that you only need one of these fucking things. Like the guy that made them and grew them, they only smoked a half of mm. one each. I smoked three. Yo. So it's like, and the guy even said he goes, and he's fucking still going. I'm like, yeah, it's just. And it doesn't <clears throat> that negatively remind, yeah. affect your energy at all. Do you think it does? No. Like, if, like if, you have so much fucking energy <laughs> 20 years since when I first met you. It's like you're on Adderall, except not on yeah, Adderall. Yeah, yeah. You except do you're have a lot weed. of energy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's madness. I got, a, I got a quick question for the other Chris, though. How much am I, I going to regret wearing this fucking toilet paper around my neck? Oh, I, should I take it off? A million percent. That, that ghost that face look? shirt is fire. Should I let the ghost face... The ghost yeah, face. Let the ghost face I, this is one of these yeah. things where I'm like, this is a good idea to have the uh, toilet paper chain on, but later I'm gonna look at it and be like, uh. This guy. Move this, this way. This guy's talking about my fucking energy, right? He's Jordan flu game right now, and he's not shutting the. Fuck no, he's yet. getting better just by the energy and, 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 and he's, that he's bringing to the room. Well, well you've you know? hung with both of us. Who's, yeah. who's crazier? I can't. I can't answer that. I just can say that I love you both, and it's so crazy. I would never even think you guys would know each other, but then it makes all perfect sense to me. Fucking, but but now we're sober. But hold on, <laughs> there's this guy over here, right? And this so, is our show. Who, do, do, do. <laughs> but this guy over here, right? I've seen him do crazier shit than I do. Like this is the kind of guy that, like, you know, in movies, like, you put the fucking like the the waiter puts like the tuxedo, the guy like the guy is outside and he wants to get in the party, so he puts like the waiter tuxedo yeah, yeah, on like yeah. a Mentos commercial. That shit, Tony DeMarco does. And I've hundred percent. I've done seen him. That. I've seen you climb a building in Miami. I have probably done that many. You know times, what I mean? Like yeah. to get in the spot, he climbed. You cl I was on at Basel, Obviously, Basel I mean, like yeah. two or three, no, four years ago, maybe. Yeah. Well, that is there was, true. There was a Ferrari involved. Porsche. What the. That's what it was. Yep. Yeah, the Porsche, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, the Porsche. So yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, it was a Porsche. Yeah. And it was yeah. right in the uh, the Art Deco shit down there. And you fucking. Winwood. Yeah. 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 No, it wasn't even in Winwood. You climbed the building fucking like in the Deco shit. We were in uh, Winwood. That's where Basil absolutely, was. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, it was over by South Beach. Spider DeMarco? Basically, yeah, he did that. But he, yeah. this kind of guy. He Before is, parkour, yeah. Because that's that was a sport for us he does growing that up too. In, the, in the city. You would go and jump from rooftop to rooftop to rooftop. No. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. What is that called? Sp it's called Sp fucking Spider-Man. That's Parkour. what that's called. No, Parkour. what he's called Parkour? is Spider-Man. Yeah. It's not jumping from top of the building to the other one like you're uh, Mary it, Poppins. It's, it, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like interesting use of architectural space to move your body around and 
Tony. Interesting way. Most yeah. people do Ninja that like shit. they do that like over a bench and like jump a wall. You're like talking about jumping from rooftop to yeah, roof. Nah. That's not. No, it's yeah. called roofing. Roof, <laughs> no, swear to God. Roofies. Yeah. Roofies. I, no, I believe oh, you roofing. called it roofing. Yeah. I believe that. And I believe you did it. I'm just saying nobody else did that. Uh, absolutely, You're, they did because yeah. I did it with other people. I well, didn't do it yeah, alone. The, the ten yeah. of you I didn't guys. just imagine those people. Alone, no, but, but I'm saying not the, alone roofer. The, the, the ten of you guys did it, and the rest of the people were like, "Those fucking people are crazy jumping from roof to roof." Yeah, um, yeah, but they didn't really. I, I mean, yeah, we did get caught. You're right, and they did say that. No, it wasn't about getting caught, Tony. It's about like falling off a roof and fucking dying. Yeah, I know. That, that's, <laughs> like, right, getting lot, getting caught. Not, not, like, not at the top of my worry yeah. list. There were only like two, three stories. They weren't like skyscrapers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just two, three. <laughs> Just two. See, this is where uh, he beats us. Yeah, that, that's what I'm. Physical, that's where, physical. This is where I'm getting physical at. Physical energy. This is he where I'm getting at. That was more energy. energy. That was, yeah, yeah, I can't do that. This guy is fucking like on fire hydrants, like fucking doing handstands and shit. Yeah, break, his break elbow this down. has got me into so many fucking different rooms. Was it break dance? What was before break dance? Tumble bunnies? Were you ever in tumble bunnies as a child? No. You know you, what that is? I. It sounds interesting. I'd actually. Could you send me more information? Yeah, yeah. I think. I think you have to be like single digit age wise. I can work that out. I can yeah, no, out. no. But I'm just saying, take one it's of Tony, my numbers. It's yeah, Tony, man. I'll figure it out somehow. Because like, I, I, I'm the <laughs> most. Math. I'm the most goofy, uncoordinated motherfucker, and I was in tumble bunnies. I, Everyone starts in tumble bunnies. Call that your is mom adorable. Right now. That that is an adorable. <laughs> you know he grew up in like yeah, fucking Detroit horror. though. He grew up in Detroit, so there's no way. Are that, you up yeah. on your Van Styles FAQ? In those I days, I was not. In those days, I was. We're, in we're just starting this whole process of his lear- learning about this fucking this whole how we got to what, what? the number one tumble bunny. Yeah. <laughs> the number one tumble. That should be the name of the podcast, Tumble Bunnies. <laughs> Mommy says I'm the number one Tumble Bunny. Mommy's that should be the Tumble whole Bunnies. Title. Like in parentheses. Yeah. Mommy's Tumble Bunnies, and it's just her, and it's just my mom's boobs. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Oh, that's fucked up. No. Really, I didn't man. have to take it there. Oh, what a ride. No. What a ride. What, a ride. what the fuck yeah. does that mean? What no, a ride. Yeah, I'm it, talking about my it, mom. It's the roller coaster. You don't want none of that. Wow. You don't want none of that. So, I when know. did the break dancing begin? As a kid, I just was fast for me. Oh, yeah, me. As a kid. I was fascinated <laughs> no. with it, you know? Everything hip-hop drew me in. I was first originally into graffiti, and then when I saw someone breakdancing, you know how you just see someone do it, you know, and you're like, I'm doing that shit. You know what I mean? Then you you, you got to get some courage to try anything because you can't go anywhere if you don't fail. What, fail. what age were you when hip-hop hit your radar? Teenage. Teenager, okay. You know, do, you, do you remember what your first cassette was? He asked yeah, cassette. He uh, asked cassette. <laughs> you know... One of my oldest cassettes is um, like an Adam Sandler cassette, oh, I which those. is crazy because it's like comical musical. It was like almost some hip, you know, like some <laughs> did he rap on those? singing type shit? Almost, you know, like yeah. in his own way. He's a ly- like still, you know, those were the giving only you lyrics. Ca- those were the only cassettes that weren't rap. They had the parental advisory. What you talking about, like piece of shit car and the like, goat with the football? All and that shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hilarious for piece so of shit, many Piece of shit car, the classic. I have uh, Tobo with Willie. Yeah, Tobo with Willie. I think we all kept our cassettes. I still got twenty of no, them. You no, know, I Nas, wish. Wu Tang, Funk Master Flex Volume One, Funk Master Flex One, two, all that shit. When R. it came R. out, we R. all R. bought R. it. Funk Master Flex. We would ask for it for Christmas. You know what I mean? Go oh, to, for go sure. Go to Tower Records. Um, I wish I had all. Go to go to HMV. It, 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 slide it up your sleeve. I'd wear the big Raiders puffy. Slide it up the sleeve. That was like going to Tower Records, waiting at midnight for the shit to come out, getting that thing, and then stealing like the four things that came out last week that didn't have the shit on it anymore. That was the fucking move. Oh, yeah. you mean no, the, the you sleeve mean the technique is uh, high level too. Oh well, yeah, you, know, I mean, you have to be an expert to pull that off. You just had to rip the sticker off, the the security sticker off the back, the raised up white sticker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We stole a lot when we were kids. Yeah, you know, with well, the knowledge that we wouldn't be tried as adults because we were like twelve. <laughs> smart, smart kids steal. Yeah, we'd be like, well, I've let's just do that. this B and E anyway. I mean, we're eleven. What the fuck well, are they like gonna he do? Said, all- the security was like on the outside of it was just a, like now the security yeah. things like on the inside and shit like it was just a sticker on it you could just pull that shit right the fuck off yeah 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 and I it mean, had like a little squirrel in there you know what i mean i don't mind the adversity you know and the the like struggle because it fucking builds character man you know it's like we're still talking like about high, shoplifting here it's like right high, yeah. no it's like you know why are you shoplifting you know it's because the means to an end weren't there to do the thing you want it's how you felt you had to get ahead it can be overwhelming. I America. was shoplifting with my allowance in my pocket, safely resting no in my pocket. 
Did you ever do the move where you tuck your pants into your socks and just fill your whole pants yes. up with like fucking? That, that's <laughs> no. out of the. That's and out you, of the movie. Is, you'd walk next out like level Matrix. You'd walk out like fucking stiff legged like. Mm-hmm. Well, that's <laughs> that's what's his name in Kids when he steals the forty. No, like, see, stick, I'm, t- stick I, motherfucker. I'm talking. I, I was before that. Before kids came out, this is like candy. Like you're still stealing candy and toys and shit. And you're like just. You know, tucking your sweatpants into your sneakers. I remember we would do it just for sport. I oh, yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be wearing sweatpants. Dude, I was like well, fucking you you 12. You weren't able to get boners. That's what that means. <laughs> if you, this is why you can't wear sweatpants at that age. Because if you get called to the front of class and you got a boner, everyone's no. going to laugh at you. Everybody used to have these puffy starter jackets. Oh, yeah. The, the winter jackets. And what you'd do is you'd pull the bottom tight because it had these two kind of drawstrings. Yeah, right? I had the Raiders then starter jacket. you'd get your sleeve queued up to like this. Yeah. Like this fucking kung fu five-finger death punch shit, right? That's exactly. And the count is right here. And the person working is literally looking at you yep. right here. And you just pick up, you pull in your candy and then you pick <laughs> one up. And you look at it and you go, no, nah, that's good. You put it back down. <laughs> Two, three times, like some just take. It's like a vacuum, you know. It's like so, 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 the transaction happens so quick, you don't even see it, and you don't even give you know a donation. I mean? Like mo- you know, most. No, no. Then you go. You know what? I'll just get this bazooka gum. How much? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say yeah. the nickel. gum's coming. Oh, here, here it That's is. all I have. Is a I think nickel. I have a nickel here. Fucking. Thank you. I would hit three stores every morning. My home. There was one at the bus stop when I got on, and two at the bus stop where I got off, and then sell all the candy at. Recess. See, hustler. Hustler. This fucking homie I knew was he. Was, I wrote the game. He was good at the subs. He could like fucking do what you're talking about, but with subs. Like I like it was in, so sub, impressive. Submarines. Or, yeah, like like you know sandwiches. like at, at like Seven Eleven and convenience stores oh, yeah, that have yeah. like the su- like the long subs. Ribicue. And yeah. it'd be like f- f- like I don't God, even. It was so impressive. It was so. He'd walk Damn. out with two of them like at the same. Foom, foom. <laughs> it was great. I can't and believe those are instant stay. diarrhea though. I the pre made. Yeah, frozen yeah. Or I mean, you, you don't need that. Food the food section. that they that they have been giving us is obviously making people sicker. Because why else are people getting all these new cancers and shit? You know, we all gonna. Be I knew this is where the podcast careful. was gonna head. <laughs> I actually, I was so mad at myself the other day walking into the. Not I. Whole Foods is across the street from my house, but I went to like. 15 minutes away 10 minutes away to the Hingham Whole Foods because it's better than that one and like I'm walking into like that's how, like you're talking about the preservatives and all that shit that's in them so I'm like at yeah. this, the point in my life now like I'm going to the good yeah. Whole Foods and I'm like you're why sh- the f- I'm like mad at myself because my younger self would think I'm a pussy you know what I, I mean I feel you 100% <laughs> I'm like as I'm walking I'm like I'd be throwing rocks at myself right now but you feel no, your you're, mortality you're shopping for the food like is it poisonous meanwhile yeah. there's this meeting going on in a boardroom and it's like how can we make more money off the health industry if we don't make the people sicker <laughs> like why do we put more sugar in the food like that type of shit yelling at each other like these well, charts need to go up higher <laughs> well I was telling you guys that I have the two bedrooms I Airbnb uh-huh. so I get a lot of people from other countries oh and like i just had this woman she was in from germany and she's just like the food he- here is disgusting it's all <laughs> sugar the bread is not bread no like what i think That's we cake. we think of ourselves as the greatest country in the world yeah and meanwhile this bitch hates our fucking food did, did you fuck her up i'm did you fuck her up did I fuck her? No, fuck her up. Like, did you, like, give her, like, you know, a quick combo in the kitchen, you know what I mean, for talking shit about America? You know, America, motherfucker, like, try that shit in a small fucking town? It's, it's, <laughs> honestly, honestly, what I, I did, I was, Fight I was trying to... Fight never gets you anywhere. Love. This is America, no, man. No, but I... has gone to... I was trying to convince fucking... her to just, like, like she was a little baby pigeon. Just, just take one crumble of the piece of bread and I was trying to feed it to her. Let them have cake. It's gross. We're, yeah. we're bread. Bread's not a natural thing. You know, you have to take yeast, process it, heat it, and then you cre- create this fluffy thing and then eat that. But it's like it's gone through some kind of like almost death process. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. some kind of fermentation. Like some, a white boy some trying other to get level black fucking. There's some. There's some. <laughs> some alchemy know, in that shit. There's some dark matter shit happening that nobody <laughs> in, understands. In bread. I don't. I'm not claiming to understand. It. I'm just saying. Do you know there are crazy like shit that they don't? I don't, don't... know if breads in it, and, and now and of course, like you said, they put a lot of sugar. Have in you food, ever had say? dreads? Uh, <laughs> I I braided my hair one time. Yeah, I was like 18. So I was in the 90s. No, yeah. it's, this is relevant because <laughs> I'm saying 
This, this, the process for a white person to get dreads is like you were saying for bread to be processed. You have to kill the hair, like bleach it, murder it, and then you start twisting it up as it's dead. Yes, I know no, this. I, never did I, that. I used to have dreads. I had the whole what? white fucking you shit. You had dreads? Yeah. How long yeah. were your dreads? The whole white shit? I had the whole uh, bleach, your, <laughs> bleach your hair look. Oh, M- oh. the Eminem thing there? Yeah, the... See, that was a thing. Yeah, it was yeah, right yeah. around the time Eminem <laughs> came out. People were like, and I was like, I did not plan this. <laughs> you, were the, you were the first to do it. No, Eminem I think copied people you. just, no one's the first. We all just kind of do it at the same time without really consulting each other. You know what I mean? Like, well, it's just a thing. But that's <laughs> one of these things that's so unfair. It's like. He might have been like, okay. there's a cool ass dude throwing tough like, university parties and uh, fucking I want to wear my hair like that. No, no. Nah, what, right? what I'm yeah. saying is the fact that Eminem is going to steal the hair, hair hairdo that he's been doing, it's just not, it's fucked up. Because look at Tony, a mesomorph. I bet you could get jacked real easy. You're just like the perfect body composition, you, you know? No homo, but. No, uh, I, I'm I, saying I, like you're you know, a hanger. Any shirt's going to look good on you. Any haircut. Come well, on. you know, with, with the physical vestibule, you know, you're limited to the third the dimension. The physical vestibule. And, and the third dimension is only so much you can do. So, you know, you got to go up to like the fourth dimension. It's that break <laughs> shit. That's the chakra. <laughs> yeah, chakra. Have yeah. you gotten into that People, stuff? What? You're into the B-boy stuff. You're into the shoplifting stuff. <laughs> We haven't gotten to the other elements of hip hop. I'm gonna say that's the sixth element of hip hop: shoplifting. shoplifting. Yeah. <laughs> no, not, we gotta keep stealing, it off the list. It, that that no. is more you know developmental miscreant. You know, jumping the turnstile, juvenile years, jumping the turnstile and shoplifting. Well, you, no, we, that, that's, I used that's to crawl rock and under roll, it. and that's fucking punk, and that's all that shit. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I used to crawl it's under. It's not it. country or art. I. Know. This is what I love about we what you're doing. Under it. You're defending. Hip hop, like it's your child. Like, no, I don't want it to be sullied by well, you can't really, you can't, which I kind of agree with. I'm like, I'm glad yeah, you're stopping me. Yeah. Like, hip hop is pure and sacred. It's not like, it's not shopping. Yeah, it's its own garden. You know, what I mean, you can't like push a shopping cart into it and expect the the shopping cart's never going to be part of the garden. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wait, it's, what? The I know it's a freak. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. And you've never yeah. had dreads what yet. You see shit no. like that? I kind of no. get. Why don't you saying? talk you like this? You know, I kind of get what you're saying. No, but it, it, like that was some mum high shit. That if was you some push <laughs> the shopping you cart introduce... into the garden, the mm-hmm. one you did about the rose. Say that one again. That was different. What was that one? That. What I was what I was trying to say is that you won't ever really find a rose if you don't enter a garden. You know? Okay, I understood. I understand. Yeah. Because yeah. no, there's roses in gardens. Yeah. What the fuck does a shopping cart in a right. garden and, have to do with ex- anything? And what shoplifting have to do with hip hop? Oh, shoplifting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, I see. Mm-hmm. You're saying because the shopping cart. I, yeah, I it's like all to use allegorical. Sh- well, see, it's lyrical. It is complex, it's li- allegorical, I guess. anatomical, analogous. And it's a throw. It's like a you're the inspector deck of this. Crow. It's a double entendre. Yeah, you know what I mean. Metaphoric like, shit. Yeah, like you know, you know it's that double on. You were talking about shoplifting, shopping yep. carts. And he brought it. Yep. Yeah, I know. Hip hop's been a beautiful thing, and there's probably more categories we can add. We gotta be careful. We gotta add the all the good, you know, all the good, good stuff one. first. Yeah. What yeah. did what did hip hop? Like if you if there was no hip hop, what would Tony DeMarco be doing or have done with his life? Punk rock. Punk rock? Really? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, but maybe. I you don't know. You hip hop and punk rock's takes... pretty much the same shit. Right. When yeah. I was gonna have the same attitude some, anyway. Yeah, some point along the way, you know, you take a fork off and then you go and you develop into your evolutionary punctuation, you know. And you get to choose all those turns the whole way. They all have endpoints. Right. You know, there's not just one fucking your fate and your destiny are tied together. You just, you know, you're making this ship as you go along, you know. Freestyling. Yeah, you're, which is also see a part of hip hop. Right, right, which it, which yeah. is also uh, something that you're known around Massachusetts for, is getting everybody I'll together for New York a cipher. Too, you know, and New York too. Probably a little of the whole, a little bit of small parts of the whole world, really. But yeah, you know, Japan. Do you, do, Japan. Do you know this motherfucker went to? Antarctica? You know how big I am in Japan. Japan. Do you know this dude? None big. I don't, none big. They don't none know. big. This dude none. went to Antarctica. Yeah, he's right. I hear. Yeah. I hear. There's beautiful wildlife there. It, there's penguins. You yeah. know what I want to know? And Have you ever fucked one of your Airbnb people? That's what, that's what I want to fucking know. <laughs> how many of your fucking Airbnb fucking clients? You know. You know you what? Fucking fucked. I think I've learned something since not. <laughs> Since feeling last- comfortable sharing the last podcast <laughs> <laughs> yeah is that uh from here on out it's gonna be totally pg for me guys yeah you know what i'm saying i don't kiss and tell okay all right so that, that, that's now it. you but what i was just talking about for people who don't know 
Talk about how, bringing people together and doing the uh, like the freestyle fellowship of the Northeast. Yeah, my brother, my brother has a, a thing together with yeah. the freestyle clinics. You know, yeah, he, yeah. He he really took the MC and you know to all these new levels. You know, can you explain it? Because yeah, he's um the, yeah. So the the freestyle clinic is sort of a place where you go and just see if you even have freestyle skills and develop them if you don't and show them off if you do and basically socialize by freestyling together is how I would say. It. Yeah. It really would make sense to which, describe Which it. is what it used to be. Like even at like underground yeah. hip hop, people would be showing up there just to, they couldn't, they couldn't make conversation to save their lives. They're doing it but Sunday they'll do, at the Middle East. they freestyle at each other. What, do you, doing what do you think about the difference in the freestyle now though? Like how before, before back in the day, it wouldn't matter how good it was if you wrote it. If I freestyled and you wrote it, I win. Like that's not a thing anymore. Like now it's like we take months and prepare. I know they well. I respect it when they go and they say, "Here's what's gonna happen at this date and this time. We're gonna meet you on this campus, and two of you are gonna rap against two of us and try to burn each other. And I'll see you there. And that's that. And now everybody goes and they write and they're like, and then they show up. First of all, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's a theatrical thing. I get that type of battle. That's I, no, those but, are cool too. I don't I don't mind them. And and to your point, the real battle is like a f true freestyle yeah, battle. True like freestyle. You're literally going off the top. No, you know, preconceived anything. Which isn't what the online hip hop battle scene is. That's well. I mean, if you're typing shit, no. I mean, no, that, no, that's, no. That's, I, that's I, whole. Difference. He means like URL and shit, and like fucking smack and all that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, when, like, like the uh, big battle networks. I don't. I actually don't know what still exists in terms. Of Me, yeah, I, I haven't checked either. that shit in, I years. Checked in years. I remember doing it in like you know the classroom at college in like the yeah. late '90s because they had internet access and like there'd be dudes with dope rhymes in the forums you'd be like oh shit that's dope and then you'd write your shit oh you're talking about typing people, yeah back, he's talking about fucking like like actual like battles like right. that like the they'll be like the two, two major two like major guys like too, disaster because, was big in and yeah, yeah like, See, like a daylight. rap battle people can come in with their writings all day right like these are my verses do you sound better than me right now live because do you sound better than me live is different do i sound better in the studio some artists are just studio artists yeah, other artists can put form better. But yeah. there's something to hip hop, though. I think we might want to all agree. Maybe we don't. Is that like that true raw grit of like a motherfucker that can just make the shit up on the spot and be witty and funny and like clever with it? Nothing that's trumps that. Nothing fucking that's trumps what we that. Not to say the T word, but that's what we want. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Fucking like because like back in the day, like and I'm like those battles are cool. Like if me and you, like all right, we're gonna meet in a month and we're gonna write the shit down and look at your Facebook yeah, that's page. Cool that's cool. Too, that's cool. That's cool. That's creative. It, I get it. Yeah, I I, but, I respect that. Too, but hey, do you those rap, are cool. You, like, you rap? Oh, let's fucking let's just yeah. go. And then like, let me you, hear you right now. And if you spit Drop some a beat, you know. But let's suppose you you spit some shit or I sp I go first, right? And I spit some shit. Like you can kind of tell I wrote it, right? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> But that's a, that was a vanilla ice beat right there. Okay. Fucking. But like, if oh. I if I spit a verse that like I clearly had written, right, mm. and you come out and you're like, "Yo, I'm Tony Dumont," and you just kind of go with a freestyle, and everyone could tell it's a freestyle. Like you would have like, everyone would have booed me for doing a written verse of freestyle. Depends on who the everyone was, because if they're all your friends and I'm from out of town, then there's a very good chance that you'd win with your. With you'd, your be, you'd be you being very written. very specific right now. I mean, like, well, we, it's true though. We're in a freestyle circle, like we're in a battle, right? And everyone's looking, and it's like I start talking about your shit that you're wearing, and you come out with some crazy lyrical. Then I shit. just take it off all slow. No, but you weird. come out with some crazy like lyrical shit, like crazy crazy like Eminem crazy like like fucking like, rap god mm, shit. Mm, but you like clearly wrote it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. It's I mean, like. I well, no, you. no, I'm yeah. just saying. No, your, your points are, no, I agree 100%. The raw shit. Well, I, I, I feel like, yes, and I feel like this is a good opportunity since we're doing a podcast, a YouTube show here. Multiple times you've started to come through on this show with some pretty hot beats. Pretty hot. Be <laughs> Beatboxing wise. And you, right. ha having formerly been a rapper, I think this is a good opportunity. It's, it's, it's not. It's to not. just <laughs> it's not it's just these are these are also not, these are not the mics for that yo that? this is that raw shit you can gotta you do it that, just right here can right you hear now that pop in the fucking mic yeah that's that's part of the beat man no, that's this is raw this is the new raw <laughs> hi 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 
I'm not doing this. Whenever you feel ready. <laughs> You're out of your mind. No, I don't mind dropping a beat real quick. Here. Yeah, but it won't. Like, you can't have two people talking at the same time on these mics because these aren't like mic recorded mics. These are like, you know what I'm saying? It's this guy over Yo, there. I keep looking at the um, picture of Sean Price, and I got to tell you, it keeps reminding me. Of Sean Price? It, it reminds me <laughs> of. It reminds me of the second time I met Roseanne Barr, which I know is, sounds abs- okay. bizarre. Sure, that's but I feel like I have to tell you this quick story. Yeah, because it took a minute for that to time. penetrate the interior of my brain. Good. Good. No, yeah, no. Second I'm, time you I'm, met I'm, Roseanne just, Barr, definitely. Sec- how about the just first time? You yeah. try to be how, open-minded. How about the first time you met Roseanne? Right. Because how many so, times have you met Roseanne? So okay, this this is what happens, right? I'm I'm in LA, <laughs> I'm staying at this place. My friends, they're like Rasta cats, right? They don't have a normal place. They have an old barber shop with rooms, and they're kind of hippies. So I'm living in an Astro van in their back, like parking lot, which is fenced off, <laughs> and it, it was comfortable, you know. And I and we had meals and things, and that's where we, we were living. One of the guys was a photographer. He's like, I have some gigs, and I'm like, I have a car. I'll drive you. So it it's Roseanne Barr endorsing Cynthia McKinney, who's some politician out west, at a strip club that was closed, like during the day. Yeah. And it was a bizarre thing, and I remember awesome being seconds. there. And I remember, I remember hearing like Bro- Roseanne say to the people that were there, it was press, you know, camera guys, stuff like that, that they were trying to raise money for the cause, and that anything would be appreciated. And I had my wallet, and I threw it on, and it landed like this, right in the middle of the stage, between the where they were sitting, you know. And they just looked at me, and they were like, and no one could help but laugh, you know. Yeah. So, and I took it at the end of it. Um, Roseanne Barr was there, and I was like, yo. Can I take a picture with you? My boy's obviously the photographer, right? So I'm like, hey, you know, fucking be ready, you know? Go like this, you know what I mean? Just, and she's going, ah. And then her handler comes up to me. It's like this big, look like John Candy, you know? And he's like, uh, he gives me his card. He's like, hey, what's your name? You know, Tony DeMarco. He's like, where you from? Boston. I'm like, like, yeah, give us a card. Let's do lunch, you know? And I was like, let's do lunch. Thanks. You know? I didn't call. I didn't call. No? Why? Um, because Must be nice not to. Free because food. I, I, I went to this, I went to this concert the next day. This is where I met Sean Price, right? And oh, they, okay. they have like a, it's in K Town, Korea Town. Yeah. It was called um, We the People, right? And um, so it's like downtown LA. And I take the camera guy, and he's like, you know, he doesn't want to do things that I would do at the door. So I was like, just let me do the talk. So he comes up with the camera, and I'm like, we're press. <laughs> after, after a while we get press passes we go in right there's three stages now there's plenty of people but but you're not press well you, i mean, I mean, I mean who you ask i mean <laughs> we're reporting for myself uh but yeah, according go. to this laminate uh, you know, that so so anyway what's really going on at a concert is that there's always a concert like behind the concert you know so behind like this main stage you know we're just we're just walking around. There's a fucking, there's a picnic table. And it's Matt the band, Raekwon. I mean, um, RZA. Not Ray, Raekwon and RZA had beef at the time or something like mm-hmm. that. It was some Wu-Tang cats playing chess on the, uh, <laughs> on, the, on the picnic table. We were like, yo, we're trying to be casual, you know. <laughs> we're all smoking up once and hanging out. And um, so there's another stage going on. And like Ill Bill performed. After Ill Bill performed, I just went up and I grabbed the microphone. Just pretend, you know, sound man type shit. How's everybody doing out there? <laughs> you know what I mean? They thought it was part of the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, and so I was, I, I hit him with like a quick 16. You know what I mean? Little, and no beats came on anything. So I said, all right, let's get ready for the next act. You know, and I just walked off. So on the side was, um, it so was So you Ill snuck Bill. in as press and then you hopped on the stage as if an artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I like. So we're the, doing a lot uh, of things. So put the mic pieces. down, turned it off, you know, no feedback, nothing. Everything's fine. No harm done. You know what I'm saying? And then I look over and it's Sean Price. And I know it's him. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm just like, what up, man? And he's like, hey, what's up? You know, and I'm like, Tony DeMarco. I said, oh, cool. Sean Price said, cool. Yeah. And uh, he's with Rusty Jux. Coolest motherfucker. Yeah, he's very chill. Yeah, yeah. New York guy's always fun. And fucking, um, so we were hanging out. Now, behind all the concert, in the concert area, they have all these, um, like, 
tenements. They're like everyone's got living in a you know, like a tra- tractor trailer, like a, not a tractor trailer, but like a tiny trailer kind of home. You know. Yeah. So you, I'm walking by the doors and I'm reading the names I'm like, oh shit. And Aren't those just called trailers? And they're at every <laughs> yeah. show. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, yeah. I, was just, I, was just, I didn't want to interrupt was, him again. I was just letting him. I think uh, he's high because I've been smoking a lot of weed. He's, he's fading. Yeah, over yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what they, uh, what they're called, right? The so, trailer so, park behind the venue. So anyway, the the artist trailers backstage is a little village of trailers. All right, so I'm walking by all the doors and shit. Like, so okay, me and Sean are at his. Rusty, we're rolling up a joint, and he's like, "Oh man, I could use more papers." I'm like, "Hold up, I'll, let me take a walk. I'll go ask the vendor, you know, the door guy, whatever." And I'm looking, I'm looking at the doors. I read Eric Sermon. I'm like, "Oh shit, Eric Sermon!" So I open up the door. I'm like, "What up?" <laughs> and Eric, Eric was in there, and he goes. Yeah, the yeah the biggest. He was like, you, 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 what, "What up?" You know, he's he got got a little stutter. I was kind of maybe I was a little imposing it. And I was like, <laughs> you mean just you chilling. I'm like, "Yo, I'm down here with Sean Price," and he goes, "Oh, what?" He goes, "Send him down here." So I'm like, "Bet." And I close the door. I walk down. I'm like, "Yo, Sean, you're not gonna believe this. Eric Sermon's up here in this trailer. He wants to see. He just got up. He didn't say anything. Walk straight over there. Huh. And the next thing you know, uh, Rusty Jux is meeting Eric Sermon." And he's like, the chrome pistol, 45 red. Put it to his head, left him dead. Untested, wanted by the feds, you know? <laughs> and Eric's like, you know, Eric's like, yeah, okay, you know? <laughs> you know? I, I, this is how I imagine Rusty Jux in any situation. Dude, he's so Immediately hardcore, going into his rhymes. Razor. How is no, he not more so, famous than he is right now? I don't he's know. Like, he's like... Ne- <sighs> He's like gravel, grit, sandpaper. This fucking <laughs> abrasive. I love it. These yeah. are very I rusty jokes. Yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah. And the white bronco, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> I love that dude. And, and so, and that, you, you know, know, he was just out here, uh, part of a song and video with, you remember XL? I was at the show the and, uh, and, and yeah, yeah, he was out here. I didn't see him. And Illa, I, I was, Illa G I was, came. You know, I was flowing through, but I, I hit that show. Yeah. Did you see Rusty Jux perform? No, I was I, I flowed through, but and I didn't didn't see that part. You know how you'll nice you'll, you you'll smell the flowers as you're running through the garden. You know that's true. If you trying to bring it back to the just, rose thing, you just get a quick whiff, whiff if you're running. But yeah, we, sometimes we don't have all day to hang out in the garden. So hold on, Eric Thurman. Sean Price. Did they end up smoking yeah. the weed? Did no, they, did we just papers? freestyle. We all we're all so, just freestyle. But no one got papers. Uh, we we figured that shit out because then immediately after I walk out, and it's RZA and Raekwon, and they're they haven't talked for a while for whatever reason. Maybe they had some. I think it was money, and and they were meeting for the first time, so they were like consumed with the idea of like eye contact, warm embracing hug, like how you been, man? Like two friends that hadn't seen each other in a decade type shit. After um, after talking shit nonstop online. Yeah, at least yeah, Raycorn. Yeah, yeah, I mean, about Rizzo. I don't know what was going on because that could always be someone else front. You never know. You always got to just you know do your diligence. You know what I'm saying? It was like, when they were coming out with like eight diagrams. Ghostface and Raekwon didn't want to do all this live instrumentation. They were calling Rizzo the hip hop hippie. He wanted to have Rizzo's live dope. backing we all know to make it, it or- Fuck like an orchestra. Everyone can say crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, no, Rizzo's dope, but yeah. I'm just saying at the, that was the beef at the time. Rizzo wanted to take it in more experimental directions, and uh, if, unless this unless yeah. this is a diff, that was like 2005 or something. This yeah. was around 2008 or something. Yeah, there was a couple okay, different of ones. One was about money, too, some way like the. Yeah. I don't know if it's all it. real though. You yeah. feel me? Like, no, it's Raekwon they, talking they about They can lad. sell publicity if they create conflict. So sometimes yeah. me and you decide to create conflict yeah. just for the com- uh, for the the value of like its draw because people are inadvertently they've got to stare at the car accident you know and slow down and you know what i'm saying like we it's a thing next. we were going to be talking Bad shit about publicity. you all week dude the guy you know before we let this one come out we we're gonna just dissing the that fuck would out actually of no, that, imagine that, that, that as a show funny. though that would be funny every yeah. if, if this was the actual show <laughs> Where would the you show? you get somebody like yourself on the podcast and then we start a fight and this is, <laughs> but that's what the show is what? every guest they start a fight with and it's like get them actually riled yeah, up. But that's what, like, if, what if the show is a show hard. about us doing the show of we're all roommates? <laughs> show about doing the show. <laughs> yes, after, you are high. See, <laughs> yeah, he is. High. You were right. You were right. He, he is, is high. That's, yeah. He's definitely high. He has an eighth for a month. He's already inhaled an eighth just being in this fucking room because I've smoked almost the whole eighth of it. 
If so, I was so stuffed up, I'd be high. Just so I got, I got to tell you. Have you ever that, smoked weed? Have I? Yeah. Yeah. Is that something? When you, you just never liked it. It doesn't like me. What happens when you smoke cannabis? I started thinking that the whole police squad is. Well, no, that was when I was younger. Always some paranoia. Like, like, what do you think is like you? So you think the whole police squad? The, gonna... the first time, so in in middle school, everyone would try to get me high, and they do the thing where they put your their hand over your nose and mouth to make sure you're not exhaling. Well, hold on, hold on, time out. What, what the fuck did people do to you? No, no, no I'm saying <laughs> waterboarding. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? fuck is going on? He's like, you it know, when chlor- chloroform rags. He's like, you know, when everyone slaps each other in the dick, and I'm like, no, dude, that, that's not a thing. No, right? no, I, the, I, in the last podcast, yeah. we were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Ball yeah. tap or the ball, the, the, the yeah, ball certain, slap. Only certain people do that. I, hold on, people held you down and fucking made you like inhale weed. No one held me down. I'm just saying, when I lived in Connecticut, this is in middle school. I couldn't get high. So like, t- age 10, 11, 12, everyone and their older brother and sister was trying to get me high. And yeah, they would do this thing like inhale, and then they like. Want to make sure you're not exha- you're not exhaling it immediately. That you're holding but, it in to get the THC into your blood. You've smoked weed since then. You, you no, were 10, I'm saying right? I so I would smoke it everywhere I go. People were handing me joints and doing I, the hand I, thing. I, I, I couldn't at, get high at ten. I'm saying, but when like you're thirty and stuff, like you, you're not people aren't still doing that. To you, no, right? no, but I once one day in high school. We're back on middle school grounds, but this now is now it's in Michigan. <laughs> eating white dog shit. <laughs> what? White white dog shit from his step brothers when he wants oh. to go the long way around and shit. <laughs> you have to eat that white dog shit. <laughs> oh. Put your tongue on it. <laughs> I gotta rewatch that because that's oh, it's, fucking brilliant. Step brothers is amazing. That's so funny. But anyhow, Slaps you don't you 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 can't you can't deal with weed. We got you on no, that. No, no. But you. the first time I got high, you know, we're in the middle school woods, like a little piece of woods. And we had the toilet paper holder, you know, okay. the uh, made out of cardboard. Yeah, like cardboard, yeah. This this sort of thing. And then you hold one end, you cut the top open, you put tin foil in, then you take a needle and you poke little holes and put the weed up there. And then you. How old were you when this was? You know going? what the fuck are you talking? Yeah. Is it well? So you're in high school, but you're in the huh? middle school parking lot. Fuck, you know, the woods behind the middle school. You're wrapping, to- you're wrapping your paper. lips around I get this it. girthy you're, toilet you're, you're paper making, holder. You're making dick sucking jokes. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah. You're, yeah. Trying, you're trying to get one in before Tony goes. I, I get it. We, we held you down for Just one, 52 yeah. minutes. Hold he, me down for the 52 for the minutes part. he made it. He made it 52 minutes. You, did, you almost did it. Anyway, I got high. Suddenly <laughs> I got high for the first time. Wait, and I, it, and this, is, this, is in, no. this is in high school. And I see, this is like... I asked him recently. Freshman year of high school. And then I... And then I start running because I think that there's like cops around the perimeter of the middle school, and I think and I fi- find out later what I thought were their headlights was the yellow recycling bins that used to go on top of some mailboxes. I thought those were like, hot. and I just run in because I think the police are cir- are, you know, they're circling around and they're they're. Tony, have you ever run from the police? Okay, okay, whoa. whoa. Let's give yes. us a give, give me a good give me a good give me a good old old school runner from the police story before we go. You got to have a good one. You got to have a good fucking. So I'm 15. I'm skateboarding. Here we my go. pants cover my sneaker. You know the whole thing. It's Jinkos. The 90s. Was it Jinkos? Yes. Okay. It's the night that type of shit. If it was, you know, depends on what you could afford, right? Yeah. And <laughs> well, you could stick we so you could stuff the, up the arm we, of your starter jacket. <laughs> we we love the uh, old red brick building. It's a like partially just. Um, What's the word? Aban- not a ban- uh Condemned. Uh-huh. Partially condemned, but they let us have gym in the basement. So weird. Um, so anyway, we're in there smoking weed, and uh, cops flush us out. We could have just stayed and probably not ran. But as soon as we open the door, of course I look, and there's a cop there. Of course I just run. I run all the way across the parking lot. My friend just stops. <laughs> He's like, okay, the jig is up. I just book it i'm like the flash to the other side the cop car pulls in and i'm nearly like sliding over the front of it to try to get away and he get and he jumps out of his driver's side door and grabs me and fucking they take me downtown and they and we were 15 so they just hold you did you did you did you stick to the code of course i did price of the brick growing up <laughs> yeah yeah uh, there's a there's a bunch of them 
Did you did you did you know that his cats are all named after the Wire characters, but the one specifically who lived by a code? Well, see, yeah, I, I the code heard, of the streets. You, have you seen the Wire? He has not. See, if you people, haven't seen the Wire, he hasn't because you you know what pe- the? people that haven't seen the Wire. Right, I mean, his yeah, face didn't yeah, do the right yeah, thing. They, yeah, you know, people oh. know. And it's all, you, yeah. you shouldn't even be here right now. You should be watching the Wire. Yep, cut. Five Fuck seasons. this. We're done. Cut it. Just throw the, throw the whole fucking computer in the fucking ocean. I'm done. I don't want to have done, done a show with somebody who's never seen The uh, Wire. I keep like, that's thinking just disrespectful Bird on a Wire. To and, every uh, one of us. Hold on, time out. You disrespect Fuck yourself. Off. No, he you just disrespect us even more. He said, he said, I thought of Bird on the Wire. <laughs> that's like Goldie Hawn and Kurt fucking Russell. And From like, the 80s. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? Gleaming like, the cube. I, mean? yeah. I was going to ask, like, he could tell everyone where to find him, but I don't even fucking care if people could find him at this fucking point in time. No, at this point, I'd like to remove <laughs> every. I, anything Thing with him in it in this podcast, I want removed. Just like <laughs> the when, when somebody thing, leaves the group the and you thing, cut him out, the ninja thing is, Chris, disappear. Chris will actually delete Tony out of the podcast, but when we play it, he'll be back in it somehow because it's Tony. Like, no, he'll, we'll just, he'll re- figure it out. We'll replace him with somebody else with yeah, the first name Tony. It, it won't matter. It will still be him. It will just be him dressed as some other guy named Tony. And he's like, is that fucking actually Tony under that Tony? And it's like, you pull the nose off and it's like, fucking Tony. Well, actually, speaking of Tonys. Classic, classic fucking Tony, dude. The, o- the, only, <laughs> the only time people say the dumbest shit is like Slain on, on Facebook. Are you, do you Facebook friend with him? I'm like, yeah. I don't know where you're going when with him. When he goes, <laughs> that Tony Soprano, that says the Sopranos is better than The Wire. Oh, yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. It's just that's not even right. But he he doesn't know that. But he you don't know. You've never even heard I, of Tony I Soprano. I watched a little of the Sopranos, you know, but I don't know. I see I kind of have an aversion to just watching pre Are there Tonys? No, just pre- Are there Tonys? It's pre-recorded fictional stuff, so it's cool, but like there's so much life to live out here. You live to uh, What do you life, think about the to Tony Awards? I love it. That, that's but an the, award. The ceremony, Grammys right? are a little better. The Oscars are cool. I went to the Oscars. <laughs> and what do you think about Tony Tony Tony? Ooh, that but was I think around, they've done it again. You know, Tony, that was right around Tony the time Danza, <laughs> Tony's Pizza, I think he's toenails, the boss. fucking Those, I think, Tony yeah, Orlando, better than knee nails. Fucking Tony Orlando, there you go. What did you say? <laughs> better than knee nails. <laughs> he said toenails. Toenails better than knee nails. All right, we've had, it. We, we've had enough of us. We have to go because we have to head into fucking Boston and go see Brandon. Tony has to go be fucking awesome somewhere. Probably sneak into the Oscars or fucking go maybe steal someone's Grammy and write his name on it and fucking have it. Now it's in his house. And he'll you come know. in. He'll come in as press. Yeah. He'll end up on stage. No, I've I've done it so many times. He'll leave so. with all the money out of the register. Right. <laughs> what register? Hey, and he'll you never he'll, saw he'll, me. And, and, and in between times, he'll introduce Sean Price to uh, Roseanne. Sean, no, Sean Connery. Oh, yeah. Sean Connery. He had he, the he, heart he of called, a dragon. He never called Roseanne. He had the like, prowess of a reptilian like fervor for do the <laughs> desire. Arnold, do the Arnold Schwarzenegger for voice. Grow. It was a distant land. No. It was ruled by Conan. Oh, so hot. The barbarian. Zaddy. Do you know what a the Zaddy barbarian. is? Do you know what a Zaddy is? I, <laughs> it sounds like a prescription drug you didn't take today. <laughs> no, no, but in all seriousness, because Sean Connery, I feel like this is what Listen. he is. There's a song called Zaddy that's out, and that's by uh, Ty Dolla Sign, I believe. But anyhow, a Zaddy, oh, I was okay. told when I asked... On Tinder, yeah. came out again. <laughs> somebody, somebody has told me a zaddy is a guy where you just see him and immediately you know you want to have his babies. Wow, yeah. wow, well, a okay. zaddy. Yeah. Sounds That's a little a real presumptuous. Term. You can look that up on yeah. Urban Dictionary. <laughs> yes, something along oh, those lines. Shit. Sounds like a uh, yes, a, a teenage <laughs> phenomenon. You know, <laughs> they like market a... to them young. You know, it makes sense. They try to like... imprint on you. You know. Did you say it sounds like a te- teenage phenomenon? <laughs> Is that what you said? Is that, this is, is so 2023 yeah. with you doing an Insta video while we're in the middle of doing an actual video. We're doing like we're we're doing well, that's, that's, we're doing a no. show about doing the show while right. we're doing the fucking show. Yeah. yeah. But Take we, one. You know, what I'm trying to do is create a little bit of fucking um, content here because we do have to go and create more content. I'm being serious because you were the one that has to go fucking see, I have your, to Germ- go, see your German right. Airbnb motherfucker. I have to go switch out an Airbnb. And I did. Oh, that's we gotta hip-hop. switch that, that's hip-hop. And I did think of to be continued. I did think of something for you. Oh, okay, God, say it right. Say it right in this camera. Okay. <laughs> for the uh, what has gone down in the Airbnb stories. So I've been running the Airbnb for two years, and 
This is a, this is a classic one. This woman shows up, and she's very exuberant. It's a certain time of night. Anyway, she comes, hop, you know, hop, sort of a, does a little hop, skip, and a jump. I think like, is this this person's a little excited? She's coming towards me. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen. She's just gotten in. Looking through the lockbox, whatever. But the long story short is, she had. Oh, see, I'm gonna fuck up the whole story. I can't do multiple cameras like this. <laughs> Come on, man. Go. It's too much. Sucking his go. We, yeah. gotta, we, we gotta go, man. Come on. <laughs> Wrap it up. Who got fucking shot? Who so there, shot so this Airbnb woman with her huge hoop earrings and her neck tattoos and uh, extremely she, exuberant. She, see this. <laughs> she ends up having only one leg. And she's oh. like holding her other leg Asking uh, where the bathroom is. Wait, let me narrate the rest of this in Sean Connery's voice. Good. So talk about... <laughs> there she was, my legless tenant. Right, my legless tenant. <laughs> and she disappears into the bathroom for hold God on, knows hold how Shuddenly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So start, start again, start again. Do the legless... T- yeah, do the Sean Connery. <laughs> Tell the whole story from the beginning again to see if you were listening well. If you're a good listener. Take us out. So, it should be a well listener, let, not good Let him take us out. Way. We got to go, man. Fuck her chilling. Sense lives. Tell them all some good shit. Well, I was thinking like Big Doe Rehab, but that's a Ghostface album. <laughs> Big Dookie Chain. Because I was trying Big to remember Dookie Chain. what that's this is. Exactly. I think I am getting like secondhand high over here. Fucking Tony, it's take us out, take us out with this story, please. Please. Yeah. Take us out Guys. with the accent. Do the Arnold one, though. Do the Goodness Arnold. gracious. No, the Arnold Great one. Great balls of fire. <laughs> Sean. Mr. Styles, please allow me to introduce Arnold. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Hello. How are you? There we go. How is it going today? Yeah. Are you having a good? Th- what about Arnold just having a seizure mid mid like? Sentence? How fucking high did I get these guys? We've said bye like four fucking times, and you guys are just no. It's fine. It's you guys can keep going. You had to leave, and you had don't to- stop him though because he's it's the, fine. He's gonna do Arnold having a seizure. Come on. Hold on, hold what? Ah! You gonna... <laughs> so it's all done. You missed it. <laughs> that was some Uncle Joey shit. No, I could go on for days, but I, I know, I, I know. Um, I'm, I'm, your time I'm, is short. I'm not trying. Well, we, we've gone. I just for... want to leave you with this wisdom. Okay, go. About a seagull. A mm. seagull is a beach chicken. Beach chicken. These motherfuckers beach right chicken. here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Beach Good night. Chris, we gotta stop bringing weed smoke um, to this motherfucker. No. Tony was amazing. Tony DeMarco. <laughs> And then I just wake up <laughs> in your car. I just wake up from a cold sleep <laughs> in some lockbox container and just activate. Fucking. <laughs> I can see you doing that. Cut this. God. Cut. <laughs>